Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jasmine Summerford. I do love lifestyle, home decor, and beauty related videos every single day. If that is something you're interested in, then definitely click that red subscribe button below. I would love to have you. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing a date night at home, a movie date night. I'm gonna show you guys how I set up for movie date night. Just because we're indoors doesn't mean we can't have a fun and romantic evening. Um, I'm also going to be sharing with you a special popcorn recipe and a special cocktail recipe. Actually, my hubby is gonna hop on in there and definitely help us with the cocktails because he's just better at those things than I am. So we have two specialty cocktails and this is all Halloween edition, but you can definitely use this video as a reference for any holiday or any date night. You definitely don't have to watch scary movies or set up the way I set up, but because it's Halloween and my husband loves it, I am gonna show you how I set up and decorate the area and show you how cozy it is. So let's jump into it. So. <laughs> so we are back and we are going to be preparing the cocktails. Hubby's going to be throwing together some Halloween cocktails. That's right. And it will go perfect for our movie night. Our Halloween scary movie marathon fest. Perfect. So what do we got here? Okay, so we're going to make a very nice drink for you Halloween folks out there. And uh, we're going to first start off by uh, using uh, one ounce of blue curacao, as you can see here, blue curacao, okay? And we're going to take the blue curacao, mm -hmm. we're going to put one ounce in here. That's about one ounce. I know you folks can't see it, uh, but you can use some type of measuring device like a teaspoon. Two teaspoons is equal to one ounce. That matches your shirt, babe. That's right. <laughs> the Thank blue. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take some uh, 
Bacardi Superior. Okay, regular Bacardi. And we're going to put two ounces of Bacardi. And uh, we're going to use this here so we can shake it up. And uh, let's do the two ounces of blue Curacao. Okay, you can see that there. And we're gonna do two ounces of Bacardi. Okay. And that is a light rum. So two ounces of the light rum. Okay. And then we're going to take a coconut rum. All right. And we're gonna do two ounces of that. And we're just gonna fill it up here. Guestimate two ounces. That's about two ounces. Put that in there. And then what we wanna do is we want to take a handful of ice and we're going to fill up our cup here. With a handful of ice. If you have a cocktail shaker, that'll work better. <laughs> but out here in the country, we don't have a cocktail shaker. Okay. So we're using a ninja. Apparently we have ninjas, but not cocktail shakers. I have a question. Are you going to be adding the cranberry juice to this one? No, this doesn't get cranberry juice. Let's not confuse the viewers. Blue looking potion. Ooh. <laughs> We're going to pour that inside our glass. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. We're going to take some pineapple juice, shake that up, give it a nice little shake one, two. Okay. And we're going to fill the rest of the glass up. Yummy. With some pineapple juice. Oh, that looks very pretty. Okay. <laughs> then what we'll do, I'm going to put a nice little pretty lemon garnish. Wow. How you like that, very folks? Very nice. Zadig Joe. That is so nice. You did a good job with that. Thank you. Thank you. Now you enjoy this. Happy Halloween. Okay, let me try it, guys. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, wow, that's really good. You like that? Yeah. Mm. How come I remember it online having red in it? No, like red at the bottom. I'm getting confused. I'm getting the drinks confused. Yep. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. If it's good for a tiger, it's good for you. Oh, yes. This is very good. Thank you. We're out. Okay. Okay, we're back. This is the next um, cocktail we're making. We are making, it's called the Carol Baskin. Just kidding. Okay. We are going to be making, it's called Jekyll and Hyde Gin. Gin. Glowing Gin. Jekyll and Hyde Glowing Gin. Let's try this one out. Mm. Okay. Okay, folks. So, here's the cup. Here's our cocktail Bootleg shaker. shaker. <laughs> Part of a ninja, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to take- This one's very good, by the way. Oh, glad you like it. Okay, three ounces of Tangare, okay? We're gonna pour this, let's pour this into here. And this is gin, three ounces this time. Three? Yeah. That's a lot. Three ounces Tangare gin, or you could pick any type of gin you want, okay? Then we're gonna take half ounce of lemon juice. We're not yes, anymore. I know what half an ounce is. <laughs> Don't need a teaspoon for that. It's half of a teaspoon. Next, we're going to take grenadine. We're gonna take the grenadine and we're gonna put it in there and mix it all up. You wanna, you wanna do one teaspoon or you could just pour it in if you'd like, like I'm doing. 
That's good. Okay. This smells good. Mm. Sweet. It smells, it smells delicious. Kind of like a lollipop or something. Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Okay, now you're gonna take a handful of ice. Put that into your cocktail shaker. All right, we're gonna take this, twist it up, and we're gonna shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty, shake, shake, shake. All right, all right, <laughs> fun's over. Okay. What am I saying? It's just beginning. I know, yeah. you haven't even had okay. a drink yet. <laughs> and we're gonna pour that into our beautiful glass here. Oh, it's like pink, I like that. Okay, now what do you do with the rest? Well, you take some tonic water. We have flavored tonic water. It's coconut and pineapple. Mm -hmm. Sparkling water. That'll probably taste good. I guess that'll work. Yeah. We're gonna just top it off here. Ooh, wow, it's pretty cool. Has a nice little coral look to it. Nice little coral pink. It's like very light blush pink. And now this is where the magic happens. Okay. Hmm. So check this out. Prepare to be mesmerized. Okay, what you do is you want to woo your Halloween party friends, okay? You're going to take a glow stick, you're gonna crack the glow stick, apparently I'm too weak for this. What the heck? Why is it so hard? Oh, got oh, it. There we go. Okay, shake, shake, shake. We're back to shaking and you're going to put this inside. And we're going to turn out the light. And further, woo -ah. Woo Oh, bravo! All right, that's beautiful. Now let's let's show let's show let's do another. So that is a blue glow stick. Okay. We're also gonna do. I can't crack these things, they're so hard. We're also gonna do a red one. See how that looks. Oh, Ooh, wow. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a red glow stick. That is so cool. Then we're gonna do an orange one. Oh, Ooh. very cool. How's that look? That looks really cool. Ooh, it's like glowy. Ooh, would you like a glowing drink? I yes, like that. That's so Ooh. cute. Cheers. And if you just want to have fun. I don't just... think mine is going to glow with that. Oh, it actually you can did. do it to all your drinks. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween. How is it? Good good you like it yeah it's good. good so that is our specialty cocktails we're going to be drinking for the night and now i'm going to move on to make a popcorn recipe Ooh, popcorn yes so let me show you what you need for that okay so i have my bowl i have my popcorn i'm gonna be using the white popcorn um, I think we got these at Walmart, but you can probably find this anywhere. Um, ShopRite. Hubby's saying ShopRite, so it's probably ShopRite. Um, I was going to make like a sweet kind of popcorn, so I got these um, semi-sweet um, chocolate chips. I was going to melt it and drizzle it over the popcorn with some sea salt. If that is what you're in the mood for, definitely go for it, but I think I'm just going to do like a butter kind of salt, kind of garlic situation. So, um, the first thing you wanna do is take your popcorn kernels and pour one third of a cup into a pan with avocado oil. So this is the type of um, pot you wanna use and you definitely wanna get a lid just in case. But I'm just pouring some avocado and I wanna coat the entire avocado oil sorry guys but I'm just pouring some avocado oil and 
into the pot and I want to coat the entire bottom of it that way when the kernels get in there you know they won't stick to the bottom of the pan pouring my kernels now and as you can see some of them have already started popping I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt here to my pan and I'm going to cover it so I have my popcorn here I'm just gonna transfer it over butter. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to this, so a little bit of sea salt. Drizzle it over the top of my popcorn generously. Then you want to take your spoon and kind of just whisk it around. you made it to the end of this video and thank you so much for watching now we're probably just gonna head over to the living room you know finish our drinks eat some popcorn and watch some scary movies my hubby's already over there so I'm gonna start joining him um, if these videos you like definitely give them a big thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe that way you can be notified every time there are brand new videos on my channel thank you so much for watching bye